Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. I know it's been a while since I uploaded but I wanted to do one talking about my plan for 2023 especially since 2022 in terms of planning did not really go the way I wanted it to but now I think I found my style. So as you can see in these clips here I was just re-looking through my bullet journal to be honest guys I have not looked at this thing since the last video where my last bullet journaling video planning for the year and i was kind of like just not really impressed with it and i've honestly switched over to notion and that's part of the reason why i haven't looked at it in so long like i completed five out of my goals that i had for the year mainly because i literally just kind of forgot about them since i don't use my bullet journal anymore um the one thing i didn't forget about was the movie page i honestly had so much fun making this page and i was thinking about doing one for my notion but i haven't gotten around to doing it yet did not do good with reading books this year. I did not read nearly as many as I was trying to give myself to and I've honestly been in a reader's block for a while so I'm not really that surprised but so I've set a more realistic goal this year which you'll see later on that I'm gonna try and do. Video ideas? Um, I just kind of... I just now I've decided to just kind of do it a little bit differently and do videos based off of like topics I come up with on my own. So now I'm getting into the longer part of my video. Honestly, this takes up the most part and it was setting up my Notion for 2023. I just started using Notion mainly this past year to do all my like to-do list, planning and everything and I use it through the app so that is partially why it took so long because I feel like it's not as user friendly as the computer version that I've seen other people use in YouTube videos but starting off I decided to set up a little home page even though like I already have a home page I want to be solely focused on 2023 and like my reading list for this year and for um school just everything i just want to make it more focused for this year compared to like everything from last year So for my second page that I decided to make for 2023, I decided to do a reading list. Um, I didn't have my goals set yet, but you'll see them later on in this video. And I decided to build my reading list around this goal, which was to read five books this year. I set a really high one last year, which was read 20, which I don't think I've literally ever done. So I don't know why <laughs> I set it so high. So I decided to just do five, but I wanted to read one non-fiction book. Um, as you can see, like I decided to type in some of the books from my last year's reading list that I didn't get to. And I decided to include one non-fiction book as well, especially since I had to get more used to reading them for college and everything. So I decided to go ahead and make this, and as you can also see, I made a vision board page, but this eventually gets deleted a little bit later on, as you'll see. And honestly, if you have new book recommendations for me, please give them to me because I only had, I think, like three books on here after I finished typing everything in. <laughs> So I went back to working on my homepage after I was pretty happy with how I got my reading list organized and as you can see I was trying to come up with a quote and I was wanting to do my own but like I'm just not one of those poetic -y, inspirational quote kind of people so I googled one but hey it works and then I set it up for my word of the year and first of the year which I started doing a couple of years ago because we did at my church and I think it's just really helpful to give like some inspiration 
and just know when like, God has spoken to you. And I went ahead and made my, what's the word I'm looking for, like my headers um, for my vision board because like I said, I decided to delete the page for it. So I made my vision board heading and then I made my uh, goals heading that you'll see in a few minutes. Next, I did my daily to-do list page, and I started this page, I think, about, like, late, maybe mid-2020, and I found it very helpful, especially since I spent a lot of time on my iPad for school, and honestly, just in general, because I watch YouTube a lot, and it helps me keep on track and get things done that I might be wanting to do before I have to go to work, or just staying on track with schoolwork to keep me like getting everything turned in and like staying on track for my goals for the year and so that's how I like how and why I decided to start setting up this page and for all my pictures as I'm showing on here I went on Pinterest just to find like cutesy aesthetic photos that would really make like the rest of my notion make it look good and not like very bland I used just like art aesthetic, I think is what I typed into the search bar and I got all these oil painting kind of like, I don't know, just oil painting kind of pictures and I just thought they looked really cute, really artsy and so I decided to use them to like keep the same vibe and aesthetic for 2023. next part i want to talk about how i set up my goals i watched a lot of youtube videos but this channel was most helpful and that was how i was able to like learn how to like set good and achievable goals and how to like make sure i'm getting everything done by the time i'm wanting to get it done during the year and that's how i set up my goals besides just like prayer and reading my bible and making sure like i'm staying on track of what god wants me to be doing and not just kind of doing everything for myself and my words of the year were kindness and boldness um and my verse will show up later because that took me a little bit more time to figure out and i really want to try and live these words out especially because one of my goals is to make more friends and i feel like kindness and boldness is really the way that i will be able to achieve that goal my goals were reading my bible for 10 minutes kicking a meal at least two times a month especially because i really want to learn how to cook because i can like barely cook like three meals it's kind of embarrassing um <laughs> Working out three times a week for at least 30 minutes because that's like scientifically how you will get results. Read five books, one being nonfiction this year. I wanted to upload at least once a month because my upload schedule has been literally all over the place, especially with school. And I do want to get more into vlogging so I can consistently upload and like drawing and everything. I wanted to write more in my journal and i wanted to do 10 minutes of spanish every single day because i'm trying to learn spanish on duolingo i have been i think since like july ish last year i don't know it's been a while and i wanted to save one thousand dollars because it's important to save money and not just spend it on everything you want to spend it on i have self three pieces apart and communicating more so one of the next tips for like getting everything good for next year was making a vision board. This is my first time making one and I did it on Procreate. 
and here's how it turned out it was really quick really fun i did it literally on new year's eve and then i wanted to write everything down in my personal journal um i've had one for a while and so i wrote all those goals down deadlines and strategies where i want to complete everything lastly here's my final setup for my notion page and for my notebook so my first year with joshua 19 here is my vision board so you can like see it a little bit more fully than the clip i have included in here the pics are from pinterest by the way here are my goals which i kind of talked about briefly really quickly earlier my books please give me more i'm begging uh, my months i changed the pictures so they'll be more aesthetic and my goals for the first day of the year here is my notebook i'm not really creative in terms of doing different fonts and stuff so here's me trying to do that and just writing my goals down my strategies for each goal and like finding savings plans on how to save thousand dollars highly recommend doing that just so you can kind of find a way that works the best for you and like your paycheck and then that's all for this video guys i wish you blessings in this new year